the fifth race here at Ote is the two mile three furlong Francois de Guinée handicap hurdle. So this race comes after the two fascinating grade ones which we've just had. Some really great racing here at Ote today. So we've got Bad Voslau for Darren Thompson. Oh, the race card is not flagged up there for me, so we'll just have to call this one as they go, chaps. Uh, we've got Anastasia in the lead there for Paul Rhodes. Marsh Zoo, one of the Craig Allen fancied runners, and Ringer Ringer Roses bursts out into the lead for Martin Leadham. Gets quite high over that hurdle, but is still in the lead. So we've got uh, 15 horses here that line up for the Francois de Ganet handicap hurdle over this two mile, three furlongs, and 16 hurdles for them to jump and it's ring a ring of roses that's gone out into an early lead i can see those familiar joshua sutherland colors of the red baron uh it's now in second place or certainly in a share of second as they come over a couple of flights quite quickly there and all of them have navigated that safely and the red baron a faller over hurdles in week one how will that one go today so towards the rear of the field at the moment we've got pat cake clash gildy perfect jenny jingle racing widest of all is king of spades a winner last time out for my stable over two mile two furlong i believe so that extra furlong to travel for mine today so ring a ring of roses as we swing left-handed with that lovely lake out in the background lovely scenic setting here in paris as they come over that next flight of hurdles, Ring a Ring of Roses has a good six or seven length lead at least to Mandrake Root, Bad Voslau on the inside, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof on the outside of that one as they come to the next flight of hurdles, and all of them jump it pretty well. King of Spades just ridden for a few strides out the back of that hurdle to just hang on to the back of that main chasing pack where we can see Marsh Zoo, McLaren, Solly Made Fiction, Winter Garden and the Red Baron away at racing widest of all as we're getting this high bird's eye view camera angle you can see the crowds have still stayed on for these extra few races after the two grade ones the thirsty and hungry for more these parisians as ring a ring of roses passes what will be uh, the winning post in the circuit's time passing the stands and as we go over the next flight of hurdles we'll then start a swing left-handed and head back out into the countryside here at Otoy. so ring a ring of roses lead is now down to only a couple of lengths over bad voslau mandrake root hugging the rail and travelling quite nicely in there alongside McLaren. Winter Garden has moved up into a share of fifth place alongside Cat and a Hot Tin Roof and Marsh Zoo uh, is there as well. And King of Spades that was racing uh, wide uh, earlier on in the race has now moved up towards the rail and is just travelling in smoothly in behind Anastasia and Marsh Zoo. So looking towards the rear of the field, Solly Made Fiction is one that has dropped out quite significantly towards the rear of the field after racing uh, in the middle of the pack earlier on and that's racing alongside another horse in the same silks of Jenny Jingle and we've got another two in the same silks of Patrick Clash and Achimoda Senator uh, and those two are just moving up past Winter Garden who has been relegated towards the rear of the field but going back towards the front of the field as they go over that next flight of hurdles it's still ring a ring of roses but being ridden along now to try and hold off a few challenges that include Mandrake Root and Marsh Zoo, the black horse, racing up on the outside as they go over that next flight. A much better jump from Ring of Ring of Roses than the others. And they all lost a couple of lengths on the leader there. Just having a look at, for some that are coming from the rear of the field. King of Spades is making some really smooth progress and has now moved back out to the outside and is just in pursuit and tracking the Red Baron. But those two are going to have to travel further than any other of these horses with the position they've taken up on the track at the moment. So three and a half furlongs left to go as they start to swing left-handed and make their way towards home. It's Ring of Ring of Roses that's still trying to hold them all off but might be about to be passed for the first time now by Mandrake Root. King of Spades is racing very wide but is making some eye-catching progress as is Guilty Perfect in the purple towards the rail. Marsh Zoo is getting hard to work but the response isn't immediate as they come over the next flight of hurdles. It's Mandrake Root still in the lead just over one and a half furlongs to go. King of Spades and Guilty Perfect looking the main dangers as Ring of Ring of Roses looks spent as they come over that final flight there. It's Mandrake Root, King of Spades and Guilty Perfect are now trying to hunt that one down. Mandrake Root gamely holding them off at the moment in the final half of furlong. It's Mandrake Root, Guilty perfect and king of spades have now passed that one and as we come to the line it's going to be tight between those two king of spades might have just got there but we're going to need a photo finish to confirm the camera angles can be quite deceiving it's king of spades and guilty perfect going towards the line now king of spades has got it king of spades has got it seven to one winner there for my stable makes it two wins in a row happy with that guilty perfect back in second 
Was that? It looks like David Hooley silks. Yeah, it's David Hooley in second, just denied by three quarters of a length. Mandrake root for Martin Leadham. Really good race in third. Marsh Zoo fourth, Craig Allen. And the Red Baron stayed on for Joshua Sutherland to finish fifth.